Oh, he ate it. He ate it. He ate it. That's a big dude. There's a fish. Yep. Oh my gosh, that feels like a decent one. My biggest bass of the day, easy. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, that's a tank. Welcome back to another episode of Best Bros. And today, guys, we got Danny out here. We're on the kayaks. We're not in Michigan. We're in Jersey on the axe. We got Zuggy somewhere there behind me. He's in a boat over there with a few other guys. So we're gonna just freaking crush him today. There is pickerel in this lake, and we don't have those in Michigan. So we could potentially catch a new species. They're not that cool. They're kind of snot rockets. Nobody likes them here in Jersey. So I mean, I'll catch one just because it's a new fish, but honestly, pike are just way better and that's all I gotta say. Anyways, the goal of the day is just to catch some fish, have some fun, and enjoy some time out here on the freaking water. Oh, there's a fish. He's biting it. It's probably small. Is it a dink? It's a dink. It's a freaking dink, but I got him, dude. First fish of the day. Actually, no, it's kind of put, it's putting up a little bit of bite. What is it? What is it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's running, dude. Never mind. It's bigger than I freaking thought. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know, but it's actually pretty. Oh, I, that's actually a decent bass. Oh my goodness, he's pulling. He's like completely snagged. I don't even know how I hooked him like this. I don't know what the heck just happened. Okay, guys, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that happened. Let's just not even talk about it, dude. But that is, it's crazy. First bass of the day right here. I mean, it's not a bad one. He is insanely, insanely skinny though. Probably like a post spawner right there. Something's wrong with his eye. Check that out. Dude, I don't know what's wrong with this fish. Solid, like, probably one to two pounds for sure. But it came off this weightless pink Texas rig right here. I love the color pink, and it freaking works right here. Beautiful little LM Busy in Jersey. And we're going to send him on his way. See you later, buddy. All right, dude, let's just freaking crank some more. Dude, stop saying LM Busy. It actually pisses me off. I'm busy. He literally pissed me off. Do not say that. Well, now that you said that, I'm gonna say it even more. Something's chasing it, dude. Oh, is he eating it? I don't even know. Something's literally pecking at this thing. I don't know if he has it. Does he have it? Freaking crystal clear lake, though. Saw that bass come up and swipe at it. He missed it, though. Is that a fish? That is a fish. There he is. Another one right along that bank, dude. Oh my goodness. Right on the pink little stick bait right there, dude. I'm telling you, pink around the springtime is just an absolutely amazing lure. I just freaking love it. That color just gets the job done. Oh my, oh, he came off, dude. That was actually a freaking good one too. Probably like a two pounder. There's a fish. There he is. Come here. It's a little dink. It's probably a bluegill. I don't even know what it is. Oh, no, there he goes. Now he's running. He was just running at me. LMB though. Come here, buddy. Dude, we're freaking crushing him today. Oh, nope, don't jump, don't jump. No, he's jumping. Yeah. Bass. That's my second fish of the day right there. Nice little, nice little RG. Dude, they're freaking crushing the pink worm. I love a good old pink worm, that's all I gotta say. All right, dude. I do, I definitely appreciate your bite. And see you later, buddy. Dude, they all swear by moving baits here, but I don't know, dude. The pink stick bait is getting the job done, that's for sure. Oh, oh my gosh, that's a big bass. He's following it. Eat it. Dude, that's a big bass. Oh my gosh. He's literally, dude, that's a good freaking fish. Dude, eat it, come on. Oh, he ate it, he ate it. He ate it, that's a big one, dude. Come here, bud. Yes, sir, I side casted that thing. Ooh, wee, dude. Freaking side casted him. Oh my goodness gracious. Freaking pulling, dude. Oh yeah. Dude, this is sick, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's freaking, they, they fight hard, dude. I'm not gonna lie. He is digging over here. That's a decent fish though. Definitely a decent bass right there. Let's freaking go, dude. My biggest bass of the day, easily. I saw him swimming right past my kayak, pitched it right in front of his face, and he came up and crushed that pink Senko right there. I mean, honestly, like sight casting with a pink worm, I don't know why, just like something about the pink worm just gets the job done. That is all I gotta say. It is a beautiful, beautiful looking bass. Hopefully we can catch a bigger one on the day, but this is definitely a solid, solid fish. All right, buddy. Send him on his way. Oh, something just ate, I think. There it is. Yep, he ate that. Oh my goodness, I felt such a little thump and he came off. Of course he did. Oh, it is a fish. There's another one. Come here, bud. Come here, mate. Oh yeah. Definitely just, oh yeah, not a bad one. I'm just freaking slaying these largies right now. 
Come here, buddy. Yes, sir. Dude, they actually dig here. I'm not gonna lie. They actually fight really hard. Like, oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful little LMB right there. Dude, they're all just coming off the pink little stick bait. That's all I need. Weightless Texas rig, pink stick bait catches a ton of bass. That's what it does. That's really what it does. Texas rigs just never fail me. Time to send him back on his way. There's a fish. Yep. Oh my gosh, that feels like a decent one. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, dude, they are just crushing this little pink stick bait. Oh my goodness, he's running right at me. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh, down he goes. Oh yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, that's not a bad one, dude. Oh my goodness. Nah, dude. Come here, bud. Come here. Chill out, Bill. Chill out. Yup. Nice little bass right there, guys. Number five on the day. I'm absolutely crushing these things. All right. Time to send him on his way. Dude, you want a pink worm? Oh, Sitting the job God. done. Yeah. Did you even catch one yet? Really? Oh my gosh, he got one. New species right there, huh? Dude, look at that thing. It's pretty sweet though. That's a nice looking fish. First ever chain pickerel. Let's there he go. goes. Let's go. All right, I might put down the pink worm for a little bit and see if I can get one on the top water, dude. I mean, we just had an extreme overcast come over, so it might be great conditions to throw a little whopper plopper right now. And again, I just, I just love top water, so Let's see if we can get one to bite this thing. Oh, you see that? Oh my gosh, they missed it again. How do these fish keep missing it, dude? Dude, these fish in Jersey don't know how to eat a topwater. There's a fish. I don't even know what that hook set was, but dude, he crushed it right there. Right up in the bank. Everyone's fishing out a little bit deep, and he just came off. He just, just came off, man. Oh, there's a fish. There he is. Oh my goodness. Come here, bud. Come here. I gotta tighten this drag, dude. Goodness gracious. Come here. Dude, I'm freaking cranking them today. I already lost a few. This is will be number six when I land them because I have confidence I'm gonna land them. He's not coming off today. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's digging. Dude, this water is warm. Oh my gosh. There we have it. Fish number six on the day right there. On the freaking pink Sanko. That's all I'm using right now. I mean, I was using the Whopper Popper a little bit, but this is what's getting the job done. See you later, bud. Oh, literally like the next cast. Literally, that was the next cast, actually. Oh, yes. Come here, dude. That's actually a good one. Dude, that's actually a decent one right there, I think. I don't know. I keep saying that in every single fish, like I always do, but I think this one might be different. Oh, yeah. That's actually a good one. No, maybe not. But, oh, my gosh. Literally back-to-back -back cast right here. It is insane. There is a ton of fish at this lake. That is just, that is just what it is. All right, bud, come here. Oh yeah, definitely not as big as I thought when I was rolling him in, but that is a good fish regardless. All right, back down he goes. All right, so I spent a couple hours, man. I was kind of struggling. Everyone else is catching quite a bit and I wasn't able to get anything, but Got myself my first New Jersey bass, dude. Not a big one by any means, but it's still a nice fish. Let's let this little guy go. All right, buddy. You have a nice day. Dude, that's sweet. Let's get some more, boys. Catch clean cook. Dude, I'm just catching all kinds of fish out here. I got a pickerel, I got a bass, I got a perch. Got myself a slab of crappie, dude. It's just like a crazy day out here. Just catching all cap all types of species out here today. All right, time to let him go. My goal for the rest of this trip is simple. I just want to catch a pickerel. Apparently, it's pretty easy, but I'm finding it to be very, very difficult. So I tied on this rattle trap in hopes to make that finally happen. Dude, I'm starting to doubt pickerel exist. I don't think they're here, man. There's one. Yes, sir. Come here, bud. What is it? What is it? It is a freaking bluegill. Let's go. My name is Jeff. Let's freaking go, dude. That's why I came. That's why I came here for, man. Chill. Ch chill. All right. See you later, buddy. There's a fish. It's probably another bluegill. It definitely is. 
Dude, oh, it's a freaking perch. Dude, this is a nice size. We should play him up. All right, see you later, perch. Second bass of the day. Let's get it. Her name is gonna be Susan. See you, Susan. You have a good life. Pickerel are pretty rare. Tiger and muskie are easy to catch. Dude, I haven't caught a fish in a fat minute and everyone's caught at least like freaking three pickerel and I haven't caught one yet. I think I'm just trash at this thing called fishing. There's a fish. Come here. Please be a pickerel, dude. Please. I don't know why I'm cheering for a pickerel, but let's let's see it. Let's see it, dude. I haven't caught a fish in so long. Oh, nope, so large. Nope. Of course he comes off. Dude, of freaking course he comes off. Oh my gosh, there he is. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Freaking giant perch, dude. Giant perch. I finally caught a dang fish though. It's been so long. Beautiful, beautiful. Dude, that's actually a jumbo perch. Holy moly. Well, see you later, bud. It's not gonna be a pickerel. Dude, I'm just the, I'm the freaking largey slayer, dude. Oh my gosh, he came off. Oh, I'm slacking. Dude, I'm so slacking right now. That's like the fifth largey I just lost in the past ever. Haven't caught a pickerel. Well, this is where we decided to call it a day. But as we were kayaking back, I thought it would be a good idea to just set out my rattle trap and do a little bit of trolling. And to my surprise, this happened. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. Oh yeah, dude, that's a freaking tank. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, that's a tank. Whatever it is. I don't know, I can't even, dude. Definitely the biggest fish I've hooked all day. It could be a freaking hybrid. Oh yeah, dude, that thing's fighting. Come here, bud. What is it? Can't even tell, dude. Where is he? Oh my gosh, he's pulling. Oh, that's a giant pickerel. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking giant pickerel. We got him, boys. We got him. Oh, he's barely hooked. Yes, sure, dude. Look at that thing. I know, that's like the size of a freaking pike. Look at how barely hooked he was, guys. You settle down, buddy. Oh, there he goes. That was my first chain pickerel, guys. Definitely like one of a really big one too, actually. So that's pretty cool. Dude, Zug is getting me on some Jersey bass over here. No, we not only pump our own gas, but we get on, or don't pump our own gas, but we get on some New Jersey bass. Yep, they're all really small and catch chain pickerel. I think I caught like the biggest pickerel in all of New Jersey. Is that is that Dude, true? It might have been a sea wreck. It actually was a pretty good one though, because I know those are like actually dinks, but they're just Good pickerel. They're literally just Walmart pike. That's all I have to say. Yep, that's pretty much it. Well, back home in Michigan, I don't ever film outros anymore, so we're gonna do one right here as I'm just about finishing up editing this video. I think the whole message today was just use pink baits in the spring because it just catches fish. That's about the only lesson that I can teach you guys. I'm even wearing a pink shirt, you know? It's just pink gets the job done. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're gonna share with you today's Bible verse, which comes from Romans chapter five, verse eight, and it says, but God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And this is just such a great message of hope is because we don't have to clean ourselves up before God because Jesus took the penalty of sin for all of us so that you can come to him just as you are because that's all he wants. Because there's nothing that we can do to earn his love. And that is just such a great word of encouragement today. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always folks, fish with passion. Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know. I wanna know.